Hi, my name is Mario Vino and I am creating this video for those who are going through severe gallbladder attacks. A gallbladder attack can be a scary thing and many of you do not know what to do when you're going through one. So I am creating this video just for you. See, I myself have suffered through gallstones and all their symptoms and I'm here to tell you how I managed to alleviate the pain when I was undergoing through a gallbladder attack myself. I would also like to tell you how I eventually got rid of all the gallstones altogether and stopped the pain from ever coming back. For those of you who are suffering from gallstones and gallbladder attacks, the biggest dilemma comes when you're going through one yourself. See, conventional type thinking dictates that your only two choices are to either schedule an appointment for a gallbladder removal or to actually wait and and take pain medication until you can schedule that appointment or at least until you can rack up the money to be able to afford it. A third type of choice is available to those people who are a little more open-minded and to me it's a more viable solution and that is a flush. But a flush actually takes time it takes a little more time to actually see the results. So in the meantime what can you do in order to alleviate the pain that can result from a gallbladder attack? What can you do at least until you can take measures to address the underlying cause? What I would like to be discussing with you today is do it, do it yourself alternatives or things that you can do at home with regular kitchen ingredients and household items that will in most cases alleviate the pain that can result from a gallbladder attack. Before I go into the recipes, the first thing is you need, there are certain types of foods that actually trigger gallbladder attacks. Some of these foods that I'd like to, a list of these foods that I'm actually going to read for you are foods that have been scientifically validated. They've, they've noticed that these foods actually trigger gallbladder attacks. So you want to definitely keep away from um, ingesting any of these foods. Okay, so here's the list. Red meat pork, poultry, and that includes uh, chicken, it includes duck, geese, turkey, uh, quail. Any processed meats, especially sausages, salami, animal fats such as uh, lard, organ meats like kidneys and liver, eggs, avocados, corn, especially GMO corn, soy, all gluten, wheat, rye, that originating from wheat, from rye or barley, onions, beans, oranges and grapefruits, cabbage, cauliflower, nuts, black tea, coffee, all dairy, all carbonated drinks, and most definitely alcohol. Okay, so here's my top five recipes for helping you find relief from a gallbladder attack. Um, these have been uh, tried and tested for a long time. The first one is apple cider vinegar and unsweetened apple juice. This is quite a simple recipe that helps end the gallbladder attack fairly quickly. It's a pretty good success rate with these. What we're going to do is we're going to take uh, 8 to 12 ounces of apple juice. And to that we're going to add anywhere between one to three uh, tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. This is unfiltered. I tend to always get Bragg's organic apple cider vinegar. I'm just going to do two here. Okay. One note that I like to make Mots, most Publix or most um, supermarkets, 
have moths or carry moths. Moths offers a fresh pressed apple juice from fresh pressed apples uh, as opposed to from concentrate. Make sure it's unsweetened. Whole Foods carries these. These are fairly actually about eight bucks or nine bucks and these are fresh press from apple juice it's actually a real good brand and it's a good buy you can always use these also um, okay so I'm gonna go ahead and drink this up and it's actually fairly good tasting alright